Happy Election Day, everyone! Wait, no, wait. That's not a happy day. This is a sad day. This is a horrible day. Repent! Repent! Repent, sinners! The end is near! The apocalypse is upon us! The day of reckoning has arrived! I'm just kidding. No, wait. No, seriously. No, but seriously, I'm really, really, really hoping this ele hoping the election doesn't turn out not to be complete chaos. Then again, then again, this is the United States after all. It's part of the course at this point. All right, but, but, um, in order to distract, but rather than think about that and about the chaos that is surely to unfold, I'm, I, I hope not. God, I hope not. I decided to go back, take a trip down memory lane, and I remembered something. 20 years ago, Cartoon Network had their own presidential election, and, and that they did for in 2004. They voted for free. You had to vote where our viewers could go on, on CartoonNetwork.com and vote for oh, for free candidates to become the president of Cartoon Network. There was, uh, was Ed, Ed Plank, and number one. Also, also Grim, also Grim was the and was like Ed's vice president. And Wara was as number one's running mate. Right? but the, you know what? They did a whole slew of cartoons of short of ads and everything. Dang, that's how invested they were into this. I think it was in high, actually Nickelodeon actually did something similar, but they did similar with songs and stuff. It was all to promote uh, awareness about the election to the kids, and it totally worked. I loved them as a kid when I was twenty, when I was ten. So I thought I found. So I went online and I found this little gem. Cartoon Network 2004 election ads. Super compilation! Let's watch them, shall we? Okay, this is gonna be. Get ready for nine fun filled minutes of me commentating on this. Hang on this. Let's get going. When asked where he stands on health care, Blank said. Oh, wait, well, oh, wait. On defense, Blank said nothing. <laughs> when asked where he stands on health care, Blank said we should put big insurance companies before patients. Nah, <laughs> just, just kidding. kidding. What he really said was, you guessed it. Nothing. nothing. So what does Plank stand for? A whole lot of nothing. This November, vote for a candidate that has a platform, not a candidate that is a platform. I'm number one, and I approve this message. <laughs> they were really big on this stuff. Many of you know Plank as the fun-loving, freewheeling board you see on TV each week. Those big eyes, that happy grin, <laughs> just one of the guys. Happy! But what you might not know is that there's another side to Plank. Oh my! A dark, worn, and distressed oh. side, filled with bug holes and enough knots to keep your shoes tied forever. Oh! Now, is this the kind of leader you want? Let's take Plank to the woodshed. <coughs> oh, shit! Vote for Ed. He's too simple to have another side. <laughs> it's true. He is. This is a beaver. He loves Plank. Do you know why he loves Plank? Because he's made of wood. Beavers love wood. Plank, he's beaver food. He can't help anyone <laughs> anywhere unless it's to satiate a beaver's appetite. Of course beavers love Plank. But so do porcupines and skunks and... Clowns! Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is a really good parody of all those campaign, the smear campaign the ads. Clowns love Plank, too! Plank, he's loved by all the woodland creatures. What is Plank good? Number one is afraid of team. Dangers! Who is scared of strangers? Thanks for all the right. It's a strangers. Green feet for years all one. So a VP with a backbone. A VP with. Out one. Look for the guy who's a skeleton. At least he has a spine. Oh, I can see too much if you ask me. Adding <laughs> Grim. Paid for by the committee to reelect Adding Grim. We all know that number one is good at bossing people around. It's true. But did you know that number one hates puppies? What? He hates puppies. It's them. Seriously. Vote for Ed. Ed likes puppies. I love puppies. He hates puppies. Seriously. And I love Ed. Intimidation. These are the tactics of a tyrant. A tyrant hiding in public office. These are the grim realities of the current regime. <laughs> the regime must change. <laughs> and the time for change is now. You know, I actually, you know, Grim, Kids Next Door and Brilliant Maddie actually crossed over once. For a 
fight tomorrow, there is only one choice. What are people saying about number one? Well, I know he hates puppies, that's not <laughs> good. Number one was mean to my children. It's kind of a win. <laughs> Number one pushed my sister. Number one took my lunch money. Mono If number one becomes president, I'm afraid he'll hurt my puppy. Number one smells bad! <laughs> Vote for Ed. Re-elect that old familiar smell. I like Ed. I like Ed too! Oh hey, it's the parody of that famous Native American ad! That with the crying Native American. That was actually a thing that how he was introduced to this stuff. Hey, 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 so much trash. What is good? Plank does not approve of this message. Oh no! The forest is on fire! So what else is new? This is basically what the uh, U.S. is like every election. Why? 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 Why, indeed. Poor Plank. Plank, you have a minute 30 for your rebuttal. A minute 15 for a rebuttal. Well, he's making some good points. Did you hear you what he said about our immig left, oh. about uh, about getting candy to kids in high in school? <laughs> in this election, the candidates speak for themselves. Well, those that speak do. <laughs> Within the next thirty seconds, would really be great. Yeah, he can't Excuse speak. Excuse me, sir. Who will you vote for this November? Ed has my vote. I think it's awesome how I don't understand what Ed says. Butter toast. I like carcass like Graham. I like skeletons. Okay, he's living, but but not alive, and you know that's a quality you just don't find in the other candidates. Facts. The people have spoken. Vote for Ed. In 2004. These are sensitive times. Oh Teens my! and adults bully us on all sides while our so-called leaders sleep. I alone have a bold vision for our protection. With the power of 2x4 technology, I will establish a position of absolute strength, creating a balance of power that favors our agenda, and set in motion a relentless campaign against the tyranny of adolescence and adulthood. The time is now! So I am by the hand and march forward towards a brave new world! Kids are so wrong! Is good. Thanks for the endorsement, number one. Oh! Excuse me, sir. Wait, Ooh, hey, didn't we already see this? Ned has my vote. Wow, yeah! I like skeleton. Skeleton. The people have has spoken. spoken. Vote for Ed. Ed. In 2004. I'm Ed, and I approve of this chicken. What's Ed talking about? We have no, no idea. idea. And I like that. Do you have corn in your ears, mister? What's that? <laughs> Vote Ed. Confused? There they are. Good. Good, that's just what we Number want. One, your critics say your policy on national defense seems weak. How do you respond to this? It's Wado. Huh? No further questions. What kind of response is that? Huh? What's going on now? Oh, oh, is that like more strong? strong. Defense. That's good wood. Good like wood. Said, he likes it a lot. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I, this is my favorite one. Welcome your president. Ed. Is that a jawbreaker? Do you have jawbreakers? Vote Ed. Smart, Smart choice. choice. Dumb candidate. Nigel Luno was born into a family of immigrants, and at a young age, he realized that he had special talents. Now, you yep. know him by the nickname of a champion, number one. But inside, he's never stopped being Nigel Luno, the boy next to Wait, door. isn't he born in Britain, though? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Chicken dead. That's going in the thumbnail. Ed and Grimm in 2004. One eyebrow, one vision. One vision for America. Big problems. Huge candidate. Eduardo. Senor. Hey, hey, this is the same as before. Hey, what gives? We already seen this. Good times, though, for real. This is dope for real. Do 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 best friend plank. Do 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 best friend plank. Do 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 best friend plank. So much trash and lit on him. What a disgrace. I'm mad and I approve of this chicken. Chicken! What's it talking about? No idea. And I like that. Because a president who says things you don't understand. I am the cooking swamp! Release the wax, air <laughs> Makes you question what he's saying, which really makes you think. And a nation of thinkers is what makes this network great, and that's really saying something. But My god, he's brilliant! brilliant. Vote Ed. Confused? Dirty. Good. That is a brilliant well, a point. politicians promise to do away with fuzzy Washington man. But only number one promises to do away with man. A lot of politicians promise higher test scores. But only number one promises lower standards. Yeah! A lot of politicians say we need better school attendance. But only number one says we need better classes. Because we all like arts and crafts. And come on, who really uses geography? The decision for education is as easy as one, two... Oh, who's counting? Oh, who's counting? We got calculators for that. Aw, that's the end? Boo! Boo, there's gotta be more. On defense, blank. I'm number one, and I approve this message. Oh, yeah, there is one more. There is one more. Watch. The school attendance, but only number one says we need better classes. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, just gotta find... I'm one, just gotta find it. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Oh, by the way, I'll tell you guys who won afterwards. I'm number one, and I approve this message. Oh, this is my favorite one. And vote for and not for a plank or for them. Vote for and it's number one hates puppies and plank. Knees, but better than the Ronnie May who's dead. Oh, for me, for me, oh, 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 for if you're like most people, you've probably grown taller. You've probably been given more responsibility at school and at home. Oh! You understand the progress that four years can bring. So President Ed would like to pose the following question. Are you older now than you were four years ago? If you can honestly answer yes to this question, then cast your vote to re-elect Ed in 2004. <laughs> a new light shines on the political horizon, a beacon of strength in these troubled times, a glimmer of hope and security, and we'll all shine on. Eduardo for VP in 04. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. So, um, if you guys are wondering who won, I checked on, I actually didn't, this is a little embarrassing for me to admit, but I actually didn't vote. I didn't know, I didn't even know I could vote. It's... Yeah, it was super embarrassing. But I did look up online, and apparently Ed won the election. So he got to be president for four more years. Good on him, man. Good on him. Here's hoping Double D didn't exploit. Here's hoping Eddie didn't exploit. Ah, who am I king? Of course he exploited it. Okay, guys. 
Okay, guys, if I'm if I'm up for it, maybe I'll let Nappa uh, wa uh, do another one tomorrow. Oh, for oh, for Nickelodeon, if I if he can find it. Until next time, though, Jay out, and remember, vote for a vote. Remember to vote in the election. Otherwise, you have no right to complain. Sayonara.